In this video I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called solving a radical equation that simplifies to a quadratic equation one radical advanced. We're asked to solve for x and told that x is a real number and since we have a radical on the right hand side isolated I'm going to start by removing that radical by squaring both sides of the equation. By squaring on the left hand side the square root and the square will cancel leaving me with the 14 minus x and then on the left hand side I'll have x minus 2 squared so x minus 2 times x minus 2 and I can continue the solving process by first foiling the left hand side to multiply that out so we have x times x is x squared x times minus 2 is a minus 2x minus 2 times x is another minus 2x and then minus 2 times minus 2 is a plus 4 on the left hand side and 14 minus x on the right. I can then simplify by combining like terms. On the left hand side we would now have x squared minus a 4x plus 4 equals 14 minus x. And since we have quadratics we can solve by setting everything equal to zero, moving all of the terms to one side. So I'll move the terms on the left by first subtracting 14 from both sides and I'm just aligning like terms and then adding the x to both sides again aligning like terms. That means that on the right hand side everything cancels so I'm left with just zero and that was the goal. On the left hand side we have x squared combining like terms that's a minus 3x and a minus 10 that I can now factor. Leading coefficient is 1 so it has to be an x and an x. The factors of 10 are either 10 and 1 or 5 and 2. In this case 5 and 2 where the 5 is a negative and the 2 is positive would add up to the minus 3x. So we have these factors equal to zero and in order to multiply two things and get zero either the first one is a zero or the second one would have to be a zero. From the left I would have x equals 5 and from the right I would have x equals a negative 2. So I have two solutions x equals negative 2 and positive 5. I want to look back at the original question to see if either of those result in a negative underneath the radical. So when I plug both of those values in to the x and the radical, neither of them give me a negative. So I, I don't end up taking a square root of a negative with either of those two solutions. So that means both of those solutions are real.